Matthew 26, 41, in the Amplified, it says, Watch and pray. All of you must keep awake, give strict attention, be cautious and active. Watch and pray that you may not come into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. So what are we watching and praying about? We are watching and guarding our soul. We're watching to see what the enemy, just keep the scriptures up there for a bit. We're watching to see what the enemy, um, like, you know, like we'll hear, we all hear stuff all day long, right? And so uh, let's say you're with battling with fear or any kind of temptation, you'll constantly be being bombarded with that lie, with that arrow, that, the arrows that are coming against you. Uh, you know, that you're always battled with fear, or that you're always going to be afraid, or, you know, whatever it is you're, you're battling with. So we're watching to see what's being thrown at us, but that's where we have to intercept it with the Word of God. Listen, part, the main thing about deliverance is, uh, you know, demons are easy. We can cast them out. They're not a problem, because they're afraid of the Word, the name of Jesus, and the power of the blood. And we can cast them out. But if you don't know how to keep your vessel free... If you don't know how to meditate on the word, if you don't know that, that yeah, you're going to get t uh, tempted, there's going to be torment, but it's up to you to intercept it like Wonder Woman did. You know, she had those things on her. Yeah, intercept it with the word of God. And, you know, it's like what, you know, the, en the, the thing, the way the enemy works is you're going to be sick and have this issue forever or, you know, it, you're, you're going to die or you're going to have this issue. And it's like, oh, you know, when we get scared, right? I mean, we're human. If we hear or if we get a, a diagnosis or if we hear something, it, we can get scared. I, I'm not at that place yet where I haven't, you know, gotten scared. Like, I'll hear something at first, and then it's like, wait a minute. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of sound mind. Lord, here's what your word says. We intercept it, but if you keep focusing on that and meditating on it, you war with the word of God. All right, so we have to watch over those things. Fear comes after us aggressively, and we cannot be passive about it. Any kind of sin, let me just say this, pornography, sexual sin, uh, you know, anger, violence, uh, whatever it is you're struggling with comes after us aggressively. And so many times we take a passive approach. We can't. You're getting your behinds kicked. You have got to take a stand with the Word. Here's what the Word of God says. Lord, and then, then you get prayer. You, you know, you, you, you bring it into the light. You say, I'm, I'm having a hard time with this. I need help. You know, don't keep it that that shame thing wants us to hide. God is saying, bring it, out, bring it out into the light. Religion says, don't do it. You're a leader. You're this person. You're this far along in God. You shouldn't have a problem. You need to tell that voice to shut up. Because the bottom line is, I got to a place where I was sick and tired of being 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 afraid. And I couldn't take this fear of man thing and this torment of panic and, and fear. And I was afraid to step out. I was afraid to do anything. And, you know, you act like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Everything's fine. Meanwhile, it's like everything inside you. I'm a nervous breakdown. But the thing is, you have to just be honest. Yeah. And so... 1 John 7, no, I'm sorry, 1 John 1. I have all these little things here so I can find the scripture fast because my computer wouldn't work. How unusual. <laughs> so it says here, but if we're living, 1 John 1, 7, but if we're really living and walking in the light as he himself is in the light, we have true unbroken fellowship with one another. And... And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses, removes us from all sin and guilt, keeps us cleansed from sin in all its form and its manifestation. And then if I jump down to verse 9, it says, if we, if we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sin, he is faithful and, and just, true to his own nature and promises, and will forgive our sin, dismiss our lawlessness, and continuously cleanse us from all unrighteousness, everything not in conformity to his will and purpose, thought and action. And, and so it's, if he's faithful and just to cleanse us of our sin. And so walking in the light, bring things into the light, because light dispels darkness. The enemy wants you to hide your stuff. God is saying, bring it into the light. 
And, and so you know what? You get that one uh, person that you can confide in. I have an issue here. I'm battling with something, you know, and, and we bring it out into the light. See, we diffuse the enemy. The enemy wants you to think you're going to have a Linda Blair episode. For those of you who are old enough to, wa to have watched, uh, what was the name of that movie? Exorcist. That's not the way it is. You know, now you have sometimes, if, if you're involved in heavy occult stuff, it could be. But, but most of it's not like that. And so people are afraid. Well, I don't want to deal with this stuff. Well, guess what? You're, you're dealing with it because you're struggling and you're not getting free. So either address it or stay in that place. It's your choice.